Hello and welcome to another tutorial of computer science in which we'll be doing a short program using the logical operators and or not all those three all right so let's start off with the instructions so right here what we have is um, we have to create three integers uh, one for each score we're gonna have three scores right here and we have to assign any value to them under 1000 1000 down okay so create another integer named new score and we're gonna assign assign any value to it under 1000 and then we're going to create a boolean which is the ones for true and false named highest is highest score and then we're gonna set it to false because it's not yet the highest score alright so we're going to print out all the scores indicating which one is on top, which one is second, and which what which one is third. Then we're going to use not and and or operators for the following. So if the new score, the one that we put in, is greater than each of the other scores and all the other scores, we're going to print this out. You've got the highest score and then is highest scored will be equal to true because now your new score is the highest else if it's not true if the previous thing which we talked about is not true if it's not higher than all the other scores then is it greater than at least one of the scores here listed if it is you're gonna print uh, you've got a good score practice makes perfect and we're gonna leave is highest scored as it is false then if that's not true either if it's not even bigger than one of the scores then new score then we put an else and uh, we're gonna print sorry try again after all of that we're gonna create a new if using the not operator for this boolean variable boolean true or false remember so the uh, the not operator will go as an exclamation point like this stating like if this is not true not is highest score meaning false is highest score then we're going to print try beating the highest score off and right here we put the variable of the highest score which in your case it might be number one number two or number three whichever of these the highest one out of these three is the one that you're going to put here using concatenation of course now let's get to it you can go ahead and try it out because that's the purpose. I already put a, a video explaining the concept of and, or, and not. Now, uh, I'm also going to put this video because I know um, that you want to compare it to see if you have it right and everything, all right? So check this video out before you submit it, just in case. Now, let's get started. The first thing that we got to do is think of what we need. And in this in these instructions luckily for us it's already given All right so let's go ahead and put a uh, integer score one and it's going to be equal to any number under 1000 so I'm just gonna put 500 here and then do the same thing uh, as we did previously in a previous um program what we did it since we're creating a bunch of variables of the same type and we haven't talked about arrays yet so what we're going to do is just put a comma separate it with the second variable score 2 which is now equal to um, 862 let's say and then we have the third variable score 3 and we're gonna put it as wait no space as 496 there we go and then we put the semicolon alright so I have no errors up to now everything is good now next line it also asks for us to create a boolean right here named is highest score so let's go ahead and put boolean is highest score and we're gonna set it to false like it says in the instructions alright so we have a boolean right here we have three integers right there but we also need, oh, I almost forgot about this part. We also need uh, an integer named new score, which is the score that we're going to give it, all right? We're going to give it a score under 1,000 as well. This is the one that we're going to be using. This is like you just played the game, and this is your score. This is the one that we're going to be using for that, okay? So int 
because it's a whole number and let's put new score using the uh, camel naming convention you know the first word has the lower caps on the first letter the second word up has the first letter in caps okay so now it's going to be equal to 830 so right now this is not the top one <clears throat> it would be in second place right we have score two uh, like the highest score then we have score one and then we have score three so we were pretty close but still not the <clears throat> biggest alright so now we have to print out as it says here we have to print out all the scores indicating which one is on top second and third so we already know which one they which ones they are so we're gonna go ahead and print um, first and use concatenation right here score two and we're gonna do the same thing with uh, score one and three so let's go ahead put right here and the second would be one and the third would be three for now we'll put here two first second and third perfect okay now we also need uh let's put this just just because it makes it look even better i'm gonna put the ding ding. just because i am that picky uh right here i'm gonna put highest scores or rankings Ta -da. all right Guys, remember, as long as you put everything that you need in the program, as long as you follow the instructions, you can add anything else that you want, as long as it doesn't interrupt with the functionality of the program. All right? So right here, uh, we already have that. Let, let, let's look at that. Let's see how it looks. Let's see, verify everything's good. All right? So we have rankings, first, second, and third. And uh, right here, dun dun. E -tong -tong. Perfect. All right. Now, what we want to do is uh, check if the new score. Uh, so let's print out right here. New score. New score. Or your score, new score. That's good. And then we concatenate with new score right here okay so now we're gonna use if and else to compare if the new score is higher than any than all these variables like it says right here right so right now we're here which one top second third now let's go to number five use not and and or operators for the following so like we did in the is alien or is it from Mars remember that one well that video um right there we explained well I explained how you can compare different uh make different conditions in the same if so let's do that we have to compare it with number one number two and number three let's do that so if new score and we're looking if it's greater than all these three variables right so greater than score one and score two so new score is greater than score two yes you gotta type again and again and again and <laughs> new score is greater than score three now we have a condition right here if all of this is true because it's and right so they all have to be together. They have to be see if if new score is greater than score one and score two and score three, then then you're gonna do something else. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. Dun -dun. Right here we're gonna print out what it what are we gonna print out? Well it says here we gotta print out you've got the highest score. Ta da so let's just take this and do a good thing that any programmer does and paste it here and now now we have the first if but there's something missing it says here and set is highest score equal to true so we gotta set that variable this one to true let's go ahead and do it 
ta -da. So is we don't need to uh, specify it to boolean again because it's already created. Just like we, we uh, what we did with arithmetic operators in which you were adding and subtracting the same variable over and again, right? So we're doing the same thing over here. We're updating that variable. And we put true because it because now it is the highest score. Now, if that's not true, if that whole and is not true, at least one of these is not true, that means this whole thing is not true, right? So uh, right here we put else. We open the brackets. Uh, the parenthesis, I mean. Uh, and now, else, if new score is greater than at least one of the other scores, then we're going to print, you've got a good score. Practice makes perfect. So right here, we're going to say, uh, if new, else, if new score the same thing we have here but instead of using and we're going to be using or because we want to check if it if it's at least one of those is new score greater than score 1 or greater than score 2 or greater than score 3 you see how we're checking for at least one of these variables it's or all right so right here we're going to switch the and with this one where do you find this symbol well, it's right on top of enter when you press shift and that backslash, backslash, right under backspace, right there. That's these lines. All right. And right here, dun dun. You know, I never used those lines until I got into programming. Yep. Yep. I didn't even know they existed. All right. So now we have this, dun 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 dun. And we're going to print out you've got a good score practice makes perfect so let's just grab all this da -da 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 -dum. and uh, go ahead and system out print line we're gonna make the quotation marks and there you go right so now we've got the first if the else if in which we're looking for if it's the greatest score or not the highest score or not and then we're looking for if it's at least in between the top the top three and now the last else right here would be if it's not greater than any of the other scores then we're gonna print sorry try again so let's do that else we don't need to specify it because it's it's implicit um, right here else if neither of the previous ones are true then we're just gonna print out what are we gonna print out sorry comma try again and then three dots for suspense or for disappointment, whatever. Over here we have it good. Da -da, da -da, da -da. And everything's running good and smoothly. Let's check it out. So since it's not the first place, it's not saying you've got the highest score, and it's not setting this one uh, is highest score to true. Right here, it would be a second place, right? 830. Da -da right here so we are between the other scores you've got a good score practice makes perfect alright so what we're going to do if we change it if we change it let's change it first let's see how, what happens if we put it like the highest whoa what just happened there let's put it as the highest score Ta -da. and here we go this is what you've had, what we have now. Your, you've got the highest score. Ta -da! And now, its highest score would equal true right here. Now, we're gonna make another if right here. Ta -da! Because it says, in another if, if its highest score is not true, then print try putting the highest score off. Blah blah blah. All right, so. You could do this starting over here. You could make an like uh, I saw some some students already did this like in, in a different way, which yeah, pretty good. I'm pretty proud of them. Now instead of doing this, they did uh, else, and then everything else was inside this else right here. So you see, because since if this one's not true, then it can only be one of these, right? So else and then inside they used nested ifs and that's a very good job so we could do it like that too okay so now 
we have this bracket we got to make sure that all the brackets are closed this one this one this one is for this one and we are missing two brackets which are one and let's see if we have the other one yeah right there two okay let's make sure that I can see them all the time or not all the time but you know at least uh, be aware that they're here and they exist all right so bum bum oh my god there you go perfect all right now the next thing would be like right here we could put uh da, we close this bracket and if high is highest score equal equal to false but why do it like this when well, we could do it so much shorter by just typing here if it's not true bum bum if it's a negative is highest score false in other words we're going to print out try beating the top score of and then we print out the top the highest score so let's do that right here dun dun try beating the highest score of and then we use concatenation right here da -da, and put the highest score that we have Ta -da -da. now let's play it and let's change the, the the score to one that is not the highest let's put it as the lowest so it's 499 da -da. Now, this is what's going to happen. Ba -da -da. Now, new score, and then you've got a good score. Practice makes perfect because it's not the last one. You see, third place has three points less than me. Try beating the highest score of 862. And it works. Everything's good. All right. So guys, you can remember that you can pause this video at any given time. You can go back to whatever point you have doubts or questions about or you're not sure. Uh, make sure that you check all the syntax and that you've, you've been using the right symbols and uh, you don't have any typos on your variables. Remember, no spaces in between. Remember, capital letters on the, sec on the first letter of every second word um, like this. And uh, make sure you have the semicolons. Remember that if you have the the curly brackets right here, you need curly brackets. Do not close ifs like this. And what else? So yeah, basically that would be it. Don't worry about this line over here because it's just simply stating that it might be always true, but really it's actually not. So we are good with it. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys completing on completing this assignment. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or or anything else, please let me know through email. Uh, and that would be all. Thank you. Have a nice week.